That one kind of glitched. Oh, the left turret is is not having a good day. Left turret, left turret's got a misfire. Oh, oh goodness. Oh, it fired a shotgun. What? What's up guys, my name is Khan and we're back today in Scrap Mechanic with another creation that kind of got started in a stream. This is the massive hover destroyer. So I actually spent a lot of time rebuilt. Actually, I don't know why I got it out of the seat there. You can't really see it. Hover destroyer. This is the cannon mounted destroyer. So I did mount one of the cannons here, a single shot cannon on the front, as well as another single shot cannon on the back here. Like so. And originally I had a double shot cannon on the back here, but once I started working out the mechanics of the cannons and everything else, uh, there were two issues. One is it didn't really want to fire consistently when it was sitting on a hovering platform. And uh, the second thing is it caused a lot more lag than I'm already getting. So you'll notice that most of these, this destroyer here is actually pretty empty. And that's because it's not uh, a very good frame rate. The, the creation's kind of large and I think I might make a smaller ship and uh, only mount one cannon onto it instead. But uh, the, the creation's kind of large and that makes it lag like crazy. So I laid out all the rooms and I started laying out some of the, the decoration stuff and then realized um, I, I just couldn't do it. So I kind of gutted these out and then, you know, at, at some point in time when Scrap Mechanic gets better uh, or maybe for survival mode, we'll add some rooms that'll actually function and be required. But uh, there is a bridge up here, of course, and you've got two seats again. I like this whole pilot co-pilot thing. The main reason too is the seats also control the turrets. Of course, you've got the helipad and uh, the entire creation is in fact hovering. You can see they're hovering above the ground. So we've got uh, 20 blocks hovering distance. It, it's very, very simple hovercraft actually because it's so large and so heavy. Uh, it keeps itself very stable. We can come in up here through the bottom. Then of course, you've got the water. Um, but we've got the two WASD controllers in the back, you know, nothing really fancy there, and then just like a whole load of thrusters. Now, this game, with the new graphics engine, it actually seems to cause an issue with thrusters, because if you run this, like I'm running this right now with particles turned off, that's why you can see none of the thrusters are lit up, but if you actually run this with particles turned on, uh, you'll crash the game, and I mean, it, it, there's just nothing you can do about it, it just literally will crash as soon as the creation gets close to the ground. But we can get up in here and go right up into the bridge and I'll just pick a seat doesn't really matter which one and again I want to do a lot more decoration with it like I wanted to have smaller turrets as well and all that but I'm only really getting like 20 frames per second right now of course we've also got two turrets there you can see on the front and the back so the turrets will kind of free rotate a little bit but they're actually really cool to control so if we hit one which is the kind of emergency switch uh, that shuts off the thrusters to hover but in order to prevent the ship from completely crashing the game um, I, I made it so that it doesn't shut off all the thrusters. It only shuts off enough so that it'll actually come down to the ground if you need it on the ground. Uh, but generally speaking, you never want to turn one off, so we can just keep that on the whole time. And uh, it is very slow to come up. But it is a very heavy creation, but it's inherently very, very, very stable. Um, so we can, of course, select the two different turrets. So we've got, you can see there switches two and three, and they'll actually light up the two blue lights there on the front. So two indicates the front turret, and three indicates the back turret. And so if we hit two and three, then four and five become rotating controls, and six becomes a firing control. I didn't actually want to put any sort of pitch up and down on the barrels, because that was just causing a whole lot of lag issues. But you see if we hold four, they'll both rotate to the left. Now the back one's controls are reversed, and so it's basically you hold the button in the direction that you want them to point. So four rotates the back one to the left, and you can see there we can bring both those cannons around. And we can still drive with WASD, so you can really just do everything uh, all at the same time. The frame rate is still absolutely terrible. Um, and the barrels right now are still connected to the ship. So what, what we're going to do here, we're just going to line these cannons up. So let's line this one up like this and just uh, do that like so. So they are fully functioning cannons. Now, if I press six right now, the, the barrels are still welded to the reload chamber. Uh, if you try and move with the barrels not welded, sometimes they can, because they are gravity fed still, sometimes they'll fall out. But we can just line up both cannons there, you see, and then we'll just make our, our lagtastic way down this lagtastic ship. So I did want to add a ton of things, like obviously there's lights and stuff that still needs to be added, and uh, maybe I'll remake the ship with a single one. Um, but I did try a bunch of different variants. Obviously I had the double turret on the back, and that was just crazy. So there we go, we've got those disconnected. 
And so the, the double turret on the back was just crazy, and then I went to a single turret on the back. Uh, I did have another one, which I'll show you after we get these shots off. It was kind of hilarious. But I put a double turret on the front. Now, there are manual fire controls on each turret. You can see there on the back. Um, they all work in unison, so the switch turns on the firing because it's an automatic firing system. Um, but the, uh, the button's there as well, and they're just independent, and, you know, you can just come up and click them. So if you have... A bunch of people ideally if we get survival mode with a little bit less lag than this then maybe we could have a bunch of people all right so let's make sure we got both turrets selected there two and three perfect you know what let's bring three forward a little bit more just like that all right and press six now they should both load at pretty much the same time then both go down and then both fire perfect and so you can you know, get rain destruction on your enemies that one kind of glitched. Oh, the left turret is is not having a good day. The left turret, left turret's got a misfire. Oh, oh goodness. Oh, it fired a shotgun. What? It, <laughs> it jammed three shells up and then just unloaded them all. That was amazing. So yeah, the turrets, uh, they they do occasionally have some. Oh no, I didn't want to turn that off. So the turrets do occasionally uh, jam up but again. There's just so much going on and so many moving parts uh, with this creation But you can see there too. It is very well balanced It doesn't have any issues with the turret weight uh, when you swing them around and so you can just you know drive around and, and roll in the open ocean Let's go load the turrets up. Let's go like this. Let's uh, line up number two there like that let's Assume we're getting attacked from like, you know two different directions here. So let's slow you like that. All right, let's go load up these cannons Oh, did I leave? I left forward on. Oh, that's not good. I mean, it doesn't really matter. You can still walk around when the ship's moving, but just got to get in there and let that WASD converter settle. All right, let's go back here. So again, to load them up, really simple stuff. Um, not really, not really too difficult. You just come in here, just fill it up like that, and then boom, boom. And so you can see it's so weird because sometimes the lag gets better for a very small amount of time and then it goes back to being terrible. So that's why I really didn't want to expand on this design more. I mean, I really do. But the extent of the detail consists of, you know, some some dummy shells here and some crate storage there as well as, you know, some circuitry stuff here. But I really wanted to get into a lot more detail with this build. But unfortunately, when the lag started hitting in, um, I didn't want to spend all this time and then have a build that you couldn't even spawn. I also wouldn't mind looking at a much better loading system. Obviously, having only four shots in each cannon is kind of disappointing. So let's just fire the front one first here. I think, did it, do I have any of them selected? Oh, I have none of them selected. Okay, perfect. All right, front one, fire up. And now let's activate the rear one, so they'll fire a little bit offset. Perfect. That one's going there. Uh, both misfired. Excellent. We're doing good so far. We got live ammunition on the- What? Oh, I'm right up against the wall. The front ones are just smoking the wall. That's funny. All right, we got to back up here. Yeah, just shot the invisible wall. The back cannon, though, is uh, it's uh, sputtering there. Very successful um, ship here, as you can see. We've totally, we've blown holes in our own deck at this point in time. All right, let's rotate this cannon to where I think, well, let's just shoot this way. So let's just, you know, manually rotate it. We can just hold that button there. They do rotate on a free floating bearing with thrusters. So that's why when you, when you drive, you'll see that they sometimes go in weird directions on their own, but it, uh, it's a really smooth rotating system I found. And you know, it's a lot cleaner than the, the controller just wasn't strong enough to do it. And I know the cannon barrel should be longer, but if I had a longer cannon barrel, then I'd have to have a longer firing mechanism. So this does use that uh, if we break a hole in here. These cannons are the exact same cannon I've shown before there. So it is that catapult slingshot fire mechanism. You can see there it's concealed under here and it just free floats about this pivot point right here. Right there, you see. And so we've got thrusters in the back there that help it turn. Um, but overall just you know really simple sort of cannon mechanism and uh, it keeps kind of concealed It does look a little bit bulky. I find I Honestly can't wait because if there's if there gets a point in time where creation like this doesn't lag at all Like for example here. We are now. We're sitting at 60 frames. No problem um, And you know, it's just weird but because once I start rotating this it might it'll just there it goes and it tanks again You see so it gets to these points where it's at a good a good frame rate for a short period of time but you can see there, so we'll just we'll just line this guy up like so, and then uh, we'll break this. 
And we could manually fire this if we wanted to. We can just hit that switch. And it'll just load up. Perfect. So I know people are going to be like, well, what about a steeper angle as well? Um, again, I had, I had worked on some steeper angle stuff. I found the loading mechanism because it's not a force-fed loading mechanism. It's a gravity-fed mechanism. When the angle gets too high, uh, the barrels were starting to glitch out and it wasn't really a pleasant experience. That plus I also found that uh, when I tried to put in more of a piston advanced kind of loading mechanism, um, ran into some lag issues. So I, you know, it's... I'd love to make a ship that has multiple cannons, like multiple big cannons and multiple small cannons. Fire away. Oh, that one just kind of flopped out the front. Oh, the back one shot like great though. But that front one just kind of flopped out a little bit. It just, it just flopped again. Oh, just flopped again. Perfect. That front cannon is not having a good time, it seems. I mean, it happens sometimes. The back one's, uh, what, what's going on here? Are you gonna shoot? Oh, there we go. It's got one shell left. The back one's doing good. I mean, sometimes it's weird. It depends on the angle they're at. But anyways, guys, I hope you guys like this build. Before we go real quick, I did want to show you guys something, because this was, this I thought was quite humorous, to the point where I had to add it as a second version. So, I'm gonna leave this on the lift. Um, and we're gonna we're gonna get up onto this here. We're just gonna put a seat down This is actually the exact same destroyer ship obviously before I'd done the rest of the details And this was the original thought process behind the front cannons And I really wanted to show this because I know someone in the comments is gonna say you should have put two cannons on the front Well, here's two cannons on the front I'm not gonna take this off the lift because it is a bit of a game breaker But uh, just to let you know I did try doing the two turret version not even putting the turret on the back yet and uh, it was a game crasher, so I really hope at some point in time I can get to the point where we can do builds like this. But anyways, make sure you guys hit those buttons down below, and as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you all next time.